Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. So let's take a look at the energies of the person on your mind, how you see them, the Hermit, the Empress, the Page of Cups and the Sun. Oh guys, you see this person as an amazing individual, an amazing human being, super single, quite a bachelor or a bachelorette and this can be a factor that is going to play a huge role in the overall situation between you and this person. I also have to say that for some of you, this individual can be a single parent and this can be another factor that deserves a lot of attention. So guys, it seems that some of you have already shared intimate moments with this person and the situation was extremely satisfying for the two of you. Then, then we can talk about the issue which is one about a potential development for your connection. A development that may not be exactly kind of put on the same page between the two of you, because chances are this person pulled back a little bit if we think about the opportunity to build a real partnership. So some of you can even question the mindset of this individual when it comes to the opportunity to share with you amazing moments and then take a step back. Guys, I want to see the Empress because this person can be extremely open following the sun. Uh, they love the spotlight, they love the attention. We have to be careful with that. We wouldn't uh, want to find an attention seeker, to be honest. Their emotional side can be lovely, yes, but they can struggle to express real love because we got the Page of Cups. So I want to investigate the potential development. Knight of Cups, a step forward considering the page. Nine of Swords, they can struggle quite a lot. And the Wheel of Fortune, so they can buy a lot of time when it comes to the opportunity to let you guys know that they have real feelings for you. The more they wait, the more some of you can be disappointed. Healing art, Oracle card. From the keys on a ring, one, instead, we got unconventional, string along, one night stand. Guys, for some of you, we are sailing in those waters, you know? And so we have to make a decision about the connection. If this person has been single for quite some time, they kind of enjoy, you know, the benefits of the situation. If they are a single parent, they can almost use the topic related to a child, let's say, as a tool to justify their hesitancy when it comes to the opportunity to begin a real romantic connection. Just saying, guys, their intentions can they be a good match? Star energy, Ace of Swords, King of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Guys, what can I say about these energies? I mean, they can be extremely positive. Star, transparency, vulnerability, wish granted, the naked lady. So, you get it. Ace of Swords, truth and clarity, clear communication, King of Wands, I want you. I'm ready to chase you almost to pursue a connection, but the Nine of Pentacles can still be the idea to, you know, kind of keep a distance. We share intimate moments and then I will go back to my place and you stay in your place. You get it? So their intentions can be clear about the fact that they like you they want you, especially when it comes to the physical side of the connection, but if we think about that, the devil in the challenge is no joke because we got the tower and we also got the seven of swords in the advice position, so you will have to read the intentions of this person because they can say to you, look, let's see each other, let's become lovers, but if we think about the opportunity to become partners, you know, maybe it is not the right time. So what's the game? I mean, it's a game that can hurt a person. Guys, I am curious about 
the flow of communication. So I want to see the Ace of Swords. Here we go. Knight of Pentacles, offer of commitment, but the slowest of the four. And for me, the energy can become the offer that never comes. Two of Swords, Crossroads. Eight of Pentacles, a mindset, an attention to the details. But this person can even say that they are extremely busy. I have a lot on my plate. Let's share the Ace of Wands in the meantime. Guys, this is a passionate, tempting connection that can present some major question marks, I want to say. Because commitment may not be available uh, right now. Sex can be 100%, so you will have to decide. This person can struggle to open up following the posture of the Lady in the Two of Swords. There can be fear factors of whatever type, guys involved. This person can pretend to be willfully blind about the fact that another person may not take positively the offer to sleep together, kinda no strings attached, you know? This person is smart enough to understand that this type of offer can be disrespectful, you know? And this can work against them because if some of you thought that this person can be a fair companion for you, according to what they can say, there is the chance to change our mind because if you also resonate with the Nine of Pentacles energy, you are not going to settle for a meaningless opportunity to have some sex you know, just to have fun and then off we go with our everyday life. And then we see again, we see each other again, and the cycle keeps going this way. This is, this is off the table as an option. So challenge for this connection, the devil, passion, lust, desire, attraction. You know, I cannot resist a temptation. Eight of Wands, the Tower, and the Ace of Cups. So, Love, the Ace of Cups, guys, which can be the offer of the night, is kind of put in second place behind a sexual tension, a sexual desire, an irresistible attraction that can be pursued in an extremely active way because of the Eight of Wands, but at the core, may compromise the connection and the future of it, tower. So guys, the devil is a cycle, one about excesses. If we do not find a way to put in check the factors that can work as a catalyst for problems, the tower is going to fall. It's just a matter of time. Some of you may have clear this evaluation from the start, your person can pretend to kinda not understand what can happen. So I want to see, even in this um, row, the Eight of Wands, because it is an energy about Cupid's arrows, arrows of love, but I am curious again with the communication flow. Here we go. Ten of Cups, we can be happy together. Page of Swords too superficial. So guys, there is potential, again, when it comes to this connection, but only if we can do things right. If we are superficial, like the page of swords, no shades towards the page, lovely. If we are superficial, devil tower, we are set for, fa we are set up, I guess, for failure, you know? Because the two of you are trying to manifest into reality two different things. Your person wants immediate pleasure. Some of you may desire to build for the future. You get it? That's why the Ace of Cups is a gift and we usually share that we should honor the energy by offering it to someone that can reciprocate it properly, you know? So what's the advice for you from the Tarot? Knight of Cups, recurrent energy. Seven of Swords, the Two of Cups. Guys, there can be love. 
coming from you in favor of this person. Two of Cups, chance to grow together with a special person. What's the problem? The problem is the Seven of Swords. Some of you can smell troubles. Some of you may not consider the offer of this person as one that can truly honor the overall potential of the connection. That can be amazing, but uh, if we think about a saying, this is potential down the drain, you know? Because we can settle for a last full game that can be fun only for a while. So guys, I want to see the Seven of Swords out of curiosity because some of you can say to this person that they can have commitment issues. You can say that they can escape from responsibilities. You can say that they want it casual and this is not respectful. You know, we can think about these factors. Let's see what we can get. Here we go. Two of Pentacles juggling. Some of you are not available to keep doing that. Two of Wands. Here comes the crossroads. Second energy about it. And the High Priestess. Your intuition, guys. The advice for you can be the one to pull back. For some of you, can be a challenge. Because the connection may have a hold on you if we think about the sexual side. You have to pull back. Take a step back. See how this person can react, basically. What they can offer you as a feedback. And then you will have the opportunity to bring up an out-out almost. Because you can say something like, look, friend, the connection has a ton of potential, but either we are all in or we are all out. Because I am not interested in any game at this point of the journey, you know? I want a partnership that I can trust. I want a partner that I can trust. And if you are available to work with me, all right, we can find an agreement. If you only want to have some fun, kind of casual, whenever it is possible to do so, nah, this is not the game that I want to play. And this is understandable, guys, if you ask me. It's not an easy decision, but sometimes these decisions are the necessary ones in order to improve the overall situation of our life, according to the scenarios. Guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.